Hi, we're Kyle and Luke, and we're going to be talking to you about baseball and how it can be adapted for students with an upper limb impairment. Inclusive sport should provide an environment that supports and welcomes diversity among all learners and should lead to the elimination of social exclusion that stems from attitudes and responses to diversity in race, social class, ethnicity, religion, gender and ability. In this video, we will be using the tree model to base our inclusion methods around. It stands for teaching styles, rules, equipment and environment. First of all, we're going to discuss teaching styles and that through providing demonstrations, it allows students to get a visual grasp of the concept of how it is meant to be completed, while also providing constant positive feedback to all students. The first rule we've implemented is if a player hits four foul balls as shown in the first clip, or has two balls thrown to them by the pitcher, these will both result in the player walking to first base. This allows for inclusion through everyone still being able to participate and run to the bases despite their skill or ability level. The next area is equipment. We've chosen a big soft ball which can be thrown to allow students with an impairment a better chance of hitting the ball. Alternatively, the use of a tee or a small soft ball can also be used, which allows for students to position themselves comfortably before hitting. Using the tee also increases the chances of students hitting the ball and their control over where the ball goes. This modification is inclusive of all ability levels. And lastly, the environment, which we can change by moving indoors, which takes away factors that may impact ability such as wind, rain or sunshine, allowing students to have the best opportunity to perform at their best. However, these modifications may not assist with all students feeling included but they are steps within the process to get everyone playing and enjoying sport. 